here is the people who want to witness the running, the test run of Ismail Motor. Here is Joseph, he's a professional electrical engineer. Edgar, anong, ano mo? Electronics engineer. Electronics engineer. And specialist oil drilling specialist with a lot of experience Leo regarding Caparas. Leo Caparas in electrical of oil rig. SCR specialist in power S system. SCR specialist. specialist. This is the one used for uh, switching the power supply or something like that. Uh, what we have here is a new technology that will be introduced to the world. Here is our battery that we will use. 12 volts, 26 ampere only, ordinary lead acid battery. Here inside the box, some sort of super capacitor replacement of the battery. Here is a coil, controller, and the capacitor. Now here is the DC motor, ordinary DC motor. We will run it using the 200 watts battery only. Look, it's just totally uh, an ordinary, very old design of motor, what I believe is just less than 85% efficiency at this time. So using this 12 volts battery and powering up the 220 volts DC motor, 58.3 ampere, that's next to impossible. But we will try to start now, switch on. Okay, and look here, there is a capacitor here. At this time, this capacitor is charging, but we don't have a charging circuit yet. It's still ongoing, so what we need, we need to discharge it manually to avoid an explosion because the maximum of voltage to handle is 400 volts, so we, not, we will not let, based from this tester, 178, the maximum will be here, it must be 350 or else it will explode once we go to the 400 volts. So I will start now. And here is the motor. Now it's running. And here, 309. Pabu di mana 300? Make it 300. After 350, we will start to discharge. Okay, go. Pitiklang, pitiklang, ya pitiklang. Pabuti mo na 300 lang. Pababay mo na 300. The motor is still running. And this is my new shop where the we recently occupied less than uh, 20 days.
Okay, starting it. now we will measure how much battery left after uh, more than six minutes You are consultant regarding electrical? Regarding electromechanical project. Project. Okay. What uh, you can say about this uh, test demo about electric, Ismail electric car? Well, uh, it's amazing uh, discovery. And uh, it's a uh, attempt to... Uh, Unbelievable. And it's been a technology from Ismail. Uh, based from the 12 volts battery at 200 watts, this one, it's okay. You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's only you are only using uh, 200 amperes. No, 200, 200, 200 watts. Uh, 200 watts. Uh, I mean, and the uh, load. Uh, 12 volts and the load is uh, 15 kilowatts or uh, 15 horsepower. So uh, I think. Uh, to run a 12 volts, that's impossible actually. But by uh, new technology, this is what we call it. PWM or pulse width modulation, this is what's happening, but now you are sure that there is no extra connection or external wire under the chassis? No, 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 no magic. No magic, truly really, there is no outside wire, etc. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, maybe you, uh, engineer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, you can go. Based from the uh, existing? Uh, based from what I saw. Uh, it's really amazing kasi uh, without fuel, napa-under yung car kasi usually yung car kinakailangan ng fuel para um, tumakbo. Pero sa case nito, yung smell car, um, wala naman siyang mga jumper wire para ano. Outside, uh, there is no external. Oh. Pero na-power niya yung, ano, yung DC motor at um, 200 watts tapos yung... Uh, watts battery, 200 watts battery. Tapos yung DC motor na 15 horsepower. 15 horsepower. That's so, impossible, ano? Possible siya, pero with this new technology, okay naman siya. Ah, okay. So, Proof pa naman yun eh. Okay, how about Leo? Yeah, okay. <coughs> Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. your, your name, please. Yes, I'm Diego Paras. Uh, I'm an SEL specialist for oil and gas. Uh, we usually deal with a uh, big horsepower uh, drive system. Uh, the way we look at it, I have evaluated uh, Ismail's uh, drive system. I call it a drive system rather than the whole thing. Because uh, what drives uh, the car is the drive system that runs the motor. Okay, yes. Okay. So basically, we have, uh, we have uh, achieved something here. In the sense that uh, we use only a basic uh, 27 AH battery, very Ordinary. small, comparing to what we have known in the past that you need a, a bank of batteries to run a certain uh, load in this kind of inverter uh, design, uh, Ismail uh, controller, uh, drive controllers. Uh, besides, besides, another thing, although there's only 200 watt we are using battery, but still we are... Uh, discharging manually to avoid 
overcharging because I, I think there is a future on this design because uh, as you see with limited uh, power source we have we can extend uh, the light we can extend or regenerate the power within so with few basic design and modification I believe this thing is a uh, near future or uh, could be the thing of the future uh, in the coming days. How about the scaling up, like running not, this is 15 horsepower, let's say 500,000 horsepower, like running a ship or a big truck or etc. Uh, uh, what that, is the that scalability? Is that's, that's the way I can see in the design because uh, right away, if you compare the power outage against the input power that we, we, we have been using, it's relatively small. The way I look at it, if we further uh, improve the design and everything, the chances we uh, the load can carry uh, the load can carry the given power output uh, of the design. So it means it's positive that is the scalability to increase the horsepower or just changing the motor and increase everything here to scale up. It means it can uh, work more well, than thousand times. Not to say that uh, out of small power you can get uh, great power. That is not even, uh, well, to some designers it is really questionable uh, to, to have an available power of say a thousand watts that could give a ten thousand watts outage. So, uh, the way I look at it, my evaluation is this is very promising because every inch of power that you have on the battery is being utilized and regenerated. Very good. Okay. Now, at this time, what we can promise, after 15 days or 20 days, this will perform a ro actual road test. Though. So, we will know exactly what will happen. Now, it's just a show of some interest. We don't know exact figure, but there is something amazing on this technology. And now, here on this side, we are uh, preparing now the enclosure, uh, enclosure of this car for, you know, protection from the rain, etc. while at road test. Maybe in 15 days, this can be possible to perform an actual demo on the road. Okay, thank you.